Let's swear and we move. Trying to load replays is hard, apparently. Well done, Forza. Ugh. God. It's so annoying. Okay. Multiplayer. Forza TV. Go away, cursor. Why are you here? Okay, it's gone. Load. Okay. Here we have the suit of armor and pepper your angus. Yeah. Okay, it worked. So I'm just gonna skip ahead a little, but you see the field lined up in the wrong order, because they're before they decided to remove manual gridding for no discernible reason. So I'm going to skip ahead a bunch to the race start. Skipping, 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 skipping. No, no, skipping. This was a full grid, which we haven't had for a long time. It's pretty cool. Just have me a little going off a little bit. Skip ahead a little more. I want to see if it'll skip to the same point every time. And it will! Awesome! Okay, now let's get back. Let's get forward. Sweet! That's really useful. Alright, you can see it's kind of foggy to start the race. This was a white race. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So what I had everyone do was line up on the grid slots, but unfortunately a few people were on the wrong side, and the top eight were actually all on the wrong side. It ultimately didn't matter, but in the future, please be careful for that. Alright, so you can see in the back some jostling. So I'm just going to wait until I see that stopped. Okay. So I pause the replay, so you can see uh, as the field started, it was Avcracy, Iridescent Bacon, Grumpy is 09, Most Wanted 08, J37 Vigan, Nevada Hot Dice, Burnout Forza X, Haters Gonna Hate, Mr. Plankton, Axel, Zornin, C Tom, Top, Skullshot, Dark, which is me, Chair, DJ, Garuda, Beck, Floofy, Wadzi, Kiwi, Will, and Popolak. So just for the sake of watching the start, I'm just going to put it on Floofy. Because there was a clip submitted of a little bit of an incident between Floofy and Kiwi Chris. So I just want to show that. So I'm going to switch to the game camera Far Chase. Because that gives you the most like view of what's happening. Some of the TV cameras at this track are really great, but it's hard to focus in on a certain area. So just having this extra bit of manual control is really useful. So let's watch the start from Hulufi's point of view. He did a pretty decent job. And I'm going to switch to Beck after the first corner. Alright, so you can see Beck actually jumped the start. Oh, he backed up though, so it's okay. Good save there, Beck. Alright, so there we go. So you can see Kiwi Chris got a really good start, because he probably dumped the clutch. Um, that's fine. Alright, so here we are with, with Floofy, and you can see Wadzi is right in front of them. Now I'm going to pause it. Now if I jump ahead, a little bit ahead of these guys, to DJ, and then just to reverse the camera, there you go. So you can see it's three wide behind DJ. And then there's Kiwi, Wadzi, and Floofy all in a line. I'm not too concerned with the three behind DJ, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the setup was for this little kerfuffle here. So I'm going to switch back now to Floofy, because he's got a view of the whole thing. And I want you to keep an eye on the 17NZ, that's the white car. Two cars in front, that's Kiwi. 
So I'm just going to go real slow. And you can see up front, everyone's pretty wide. Chair gets a little sideways, but that's fine. So now you see Garuda, that's the red and white car, comes in a little, and Kiwi taps him a little bit, and he gets a little sideways. That's fine. Wadzi's right behind him. Again, that's fine. They all mount the line, and then they do it again, and now Kiwi gets sideways. So now Kiwi Chris is sideways. And if it wasn't right to start, what you should do in this scenario is, if you're Wadzi, try to move a little left and back off, and if you're Floofy, back off a little bit and move left, because there's no one on his left. Now Chair is right next to Wadzi, so he can't really move, but he could still lift a little bit. But since it's the start, no one's really going to do that, and that happens in real life as well. So I'm going to move ahead a little. So now you see Kiwi's really sideways, and here's when the contact happens. Boom! Boom! And Rip Kiwi, and kind of Wadzi. Does a really good job saving it. Fluffy gets a little sideways, and away we go. So now let's see what happened to Kiwi. Here he is. And he's actually completely spun, which I hadn't realized. So this is not his fault. This is just a racing incident. There's nothing you can do about it. So you see he gets sideways, spin, 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 spin. It's really easy to flip, so good for him for switching it around. And he keeps it away from everyone. Who's that slow? Okay, that's Will. Oh god, I didn't know that happened. Rip. Alright, so Will could have probably avoided that, but uh, again, first lap, I think that's his first, ra first race with us as well. So j just in the future, if you see an incident that far ahead of you, just, just hit the brakes, uh, check up a little, and uh, yeah, don't do that. But I mean, it, it's okay, because it's first race in the season, so yeah, that was a hard hit. So th we called a caution for this obviously. Uh, so you can see Kiwi actually saves that and gets moving again. Good for Kiwi. Now I'm going to skip ahead up to Dr. Beck, who if you'll remember started really, really low down the field because he had a dirty qualifying lap. I'm going to skip back. Okay, so here's, here's a meaningful thing from Beck. He's really good at race starts. So I'm going to do this at about half speed. So you'll see he's got a pretty even with Garuda. The tire smokes more down to latency than actual burning rubber, because we're in the autos. Alright, I'm going to go full speed. So you see here, this is kind of what sets up Garuda getting a little loose. Bex on the grass, Garuda has to check up, and there it goes. And that sets that off. That's not really Bex's fault, but that's what really started the whole thing. And you can see, there he goes. Okay. So now let's look at Beck's run through turns uh, 2 and 3 and 4. So you can see everyone in front here checks up a lot. Because if you look ahead a little, you see that red car, he gets loose. And that starts it. Now that orange car is me, and I also had a pretty decent start here. So just keep your eye on the orange car and Beck's car. Also top, please stay on the track. Um, so you can see Beck barely avoids TFM and double zero. Full throttle. There's a little bit of contact. Again, it's Miata's, it's fine. And here's the cool thing. Straight. Straight. Draft. And he's going to stay in the draft. And he's going to go left or right. None. And then he's going to go left. So that's a really good driving from DJ. Using a single move, but not an over block. And then you see I'm going to slow it down. This was really cool. DJ goes in for a super deep lunge. I cut back. Block back. And Beck gets a good run, and there it is. So that's an example of good hard racing. Now let's watch that again from Viggen's point of view, from in front of everything, because that was really cool. I'm just going to back it up here. This is all in the first lap. So again, Viggen just sees a swarm of cars behind him. Now I'm going to do this full speed. Keep your eye on that white car in the middle of your screen. Okay, so here's DJ, 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 and here's the lunge for me. Boom. And that's how you make a pass in turn three. Okay, let's go back to forward. Now I'm going to jump back to uh, Beck. Here's Beck again. All right. 
And there you can see I get a little, little bit blocked by Vegan, which is good racing for him. Beck gets a good run out, and here's the run up the hill. So you can see behind it's mostly settled down. And now we got a nice line of four cars. So I'm going to switch off Beck. I'm going to move up to Axel. And Axel's off the track, which is I didn't know. But let's look behind Axel and see if we can catch this incident here. Actually, no, it was in front of Axel, so I'm going to move up again to Most Wanted, because I know he was involved. And we're going to go super slow here. Now here's Bacon in the 18. That's fine. That's the racing line. And this is also a line that the 201 is on. And he's getting loose. You can see this. And there he's really loose. Alright, he's saving it, saving it. Overcorrects. Saves it, sort of, and it's gone. Now this wall will throw you. So remember what I said about watching Beck? Here goes Plankton, the 156, Vigan, here's me, and here's Beck. Hoo boy! And Beck clears it, but he's gonna hit the wall. Now this would not be a caution, because it was totally separate. So you can see, Wanted loses a ton of positions. Chair gets sideways, who actually hit them? Um, okay, so that's Skull Shot. You can see Chair's already there. Okay, yeah. So in the future, you want to leave at least a car with in this amount of traffic, especially when you see a car off there, because you don't know if they're going to flip back on. Uh, I don't think they actually touched. So just, just be careful. Um, yeah, so Cherry does a really good job saving it here. Super sideways. Keeps it out of the pack. Boom. Now let's watch Beck's rejoin. So there's no one there. Keeps it on the edge. Good job, Beck. Okay, here's Cherry's rejoin again. Keeps it on the edge. And we have a little bit of a Kofifi ahead. Yes, I just said Kofifi. Moving up to C Tom. Oh, perfect. He's right in it. So let's back up a little. Now this is Wadzi in the 19, Fluffy behind in the 5, and Garuda ahead. So let's watch C-Tom. He's just drifting out wide, gets a little nudge, Wadzi's there. Nothing, nobody's really fault, just people being excited to race him back to the caution. Wadzi almost dies, good job. Oh! Okay, maybe Wadzi did die there. I hadn't realized that. Rip. Okay. Again, but notice how he doesn't immediately drive back on. He waits till people go by. Alright, here's c -tone. Oh man, everyone went off. Jeez. Here's most wanted. Yeah, this last corner was tricky. Oh man, he got loose. Okay. So, let's move off the field a bit. Here's Plankton. So wait, did we not caution here? Oh, I guess we didn't. LOL. Oh, we should have. Rip. Okay. Right. Let's move on to me again. There we are. I believe there was a crash on this lap. I'm just gonna see if we can find it. And then there's somebody who might have a guy right in here. Uh, where's that back at this point? That was uh, 20th at this point. I will find it. Just look at the run he gets on all these guys. Wide lines. Not, it's a little too wide. Oh, that was a lunge. Nicely done, Nevada. Okay, keeps it nice and tidy. That's fine. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. So here's Vigan. Man, it was a huge knot of cars here. Going into turn 8. He's got an okay run on the skill shot. Good lift. Okay. Again. Just run down the hill. There's Axel. 
You got a nice lead. Nice lead. Nice lead. Heavy braking, turn one. Nice and tidy line. Nice telling the tree. Oh, it actually works. Nice. I know in six it didn't always work. That's a good groove. Oh, you break way too much there. Okay. Oh, here it is. I just saw some dust kicked up. I don't remember why. <clears throat> okay, let me show you something about this little section of following people. When you're really close in this car, if somebody lifts, you're going to have to lift, and you're both going to lose a ton of ground. So sometimes it's beneficial to just not lift. Now let's watch what accuracy does. This is slow speed here. You can see I start to turn in, as does he, but he turns in a little too late. So he's going to see him slide onto that curb, over it, and dirt. That's going to lose a ton of straight or straight line speed, as you can see here. I've got a bit of a run, and uh, behind me, Zornan does as well. Zornan makes a good move here. He kind of boxed me in a little, but I ran a little deep, and that's all she wrote. Cool, they can get dicey. Okay, that, that's just a racing incident, that's fine. Oh god. Okay, yeah, be a little careful, please. That's a, that's a quarter panel shot. You want to try to avoid those. Okay. There was a big wreck shortly after this. I'm just going to keep it on me because I kind of started it inadvertently. Um, okay, hold on. Uno momento. Uh, what is happening? Okay. <clears throat> there we go. There goes. Okay, so here's me. You can see the rain started, and uh, the game doesn't really change your tires so much as it just like, yep, these are what tires now, very gradually. Now you can't take this final second flat when it's wet. And, uh, what just happened? Ha! <laughs> okay! I can't even show that. Well, that's irritating. Well, what I was gonna do was go and show you the entirety of that incident. But, um, yeah, I can't do that because the replay didn't save it. So, um, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'll have to, uh, get this from a Twitch clip. So... Insert segue here.